number 20. So, children, as you know, that today is a term of English language, and the chapters which we are going to revise is chapter number 19 and chapter number 20. So, chapter number 19 is prefixes, and chapter number 20 is uh, suffixes. So, we will divide these two chapters today uh, one by one. So, let's start with chapter number 19 prefixes. So now what do you mean by the word prefix? As you can see the word itself suggests prefix. Pre means the word pre means before. Okay? Before. And fixes mean when we fix. So when we fix before something. Right? So what we are fixing? We are fixing a letter or group of letters at the beginning of a root word. Understood? I believe prefix. Understood? Means we have to fix letter or group of letter before a or at the beginning of a root word. Okay? So when I say root word, root word means base word. Okay? So what is prefix? A word. Mislead, M-I-S is a prefix. The rest of the words are 
face word. Understood? So as, as you have seen that we have added the prefix at the beginning of the base word. Never forget this. Prefix means pre means before. So at the beginning of the base word, before the base word, you have to add the prefix to get a new meaningful word. Now let's do some examples in which you can see how uh, we have added prefix to the word and how we are getting a new word with different meaning. Also students, remember that every prefix has you know, a different meaning. So we have to be very careful while we are adding the prefix to the base word because you know the word should not be wrong. It should have a meaning. Understood? So now let's Okay students, so now here you can see that I have written some prefixes, their meaning and some words and now we'll see that when we add such prefix to uh, these words then what new word we are getting and how the uh, meaning of the word is changing okay so the first one is re re means prefix re means again okay so if we add such prefix to the base word fill or make what we get we get a new word re fill and re me okay so as you know the prefix re means again so over here the word fill is converted into a new word refill which means to fill again and remake means to make again understood same way prefix miss means wrong so if we add prefix miss to the base word spell, we get a new word miss spell. Okay, means spell wrongly. Then same prefix to the word use, we get a new word misuse. Means something which is used wrongly. Understand? Then we have a new word. A new prefix sub which means under sub means under so if we add this prefix to the base word title we get a new word sub title means under the title or marine we get sub marine you can say you know under the sea or under the ocean so marine you know which moves under the ocean then we have a new uh, prefix this, which means opposite of. So if we add it to the new to the base word like, we get a new word this like and this honest. If we are adding before honest, we are getting a new word dishonest, which means dislike and dishonest means not like or not honest. And children, one thing more, sometimes when we add prefix to the base word, we get antonyms. Antonyms, you remember? Yesterday we revised it. Antonyms are the opposite words. Okay? So over here you can see like and its opposite is dislike. So when we have added prefix dis to the word like, we are getting the antonym also. Same way honest, we are getting the opposite of it, dishonest by adding prefix. Okay. Prefix in means not. So if we add it to the base word correct, we get a word in correct, which means not correct. And complete, we get in complete, means not complete. Here also you can see that correct opposite is incorrect and complete opposite is Incomplete, right? So both are also antonym of each other. Last we have co. Co means with. So if you're adding it with the word pilot, we'll get co pilot or operation. Co operation. You can see here the whole meaning is different. Huh? Pilot, you know. So if you're adding co with pilot before pilot we are getting a new word co pilot which means with pilot okay same way operation you know any verb and if we are uh, adding co with it we are getting a 
cooperation word which means working with right someone who is working uh, with uh, somebody or helping it means cooperation understood i hope uh, prefixes uh, is clear to all of you let's see one more example okay so as you can see i have written some sentences over here you we have to fill the correct word okay, okay. so let's begin read the sentence below choose the proper word to complete each okay each word is having prefix with it so we have to fill the proper uh, word to make our sentence you know, sensible right so the first one is and you can see i have written you uh, know more uh, options are given but sentence is only six are given okay so let's see first one nana asked me to dash the oven to 350 degree okay so according to what do you think you should use the correct word proper word to you know uh, complete this sentence pre meet pre view pre school prepare untie unsave unable un or unfinished so i hope that you are getting it that nana asks me to pre heat the oven because oven ko we are uh, she is going to pre heat right so the first one will be pre heat the oven next one we put it play on the slide because it was dash so we put it play on the slide because it was what review pre school prepare untie unsave and it was unfinished obviously because it was unsave
shun right then all these are common prefixes so now we will see uh, some words which are having prefix and then we will see uh, we will see the difference uh, between the prefix the, sorry the uh, suffix and the uh, base word okay i have some words on the board and we have to see that where we have added uh, suffix okay and where is the base word first one is lordship then kingdom freedom beggar happiness grace childish joyful friendship and calmness okay so as you know that where we add suffix we add at the end of the base word okay so here you can see word ship s h i p ship this is a suffix okay and this word lord which itself is meaningful okay this is your base word and this is your suffix then king dumb so king is your base word and dumb is your suffix as you know that we add suffix at the end of the base word okay freedom dumb is a suffix and free is your base word then beggar beg is your base word and g a r is your suffix okay same way happiness ness is your suffix grace i s h is your suffix childish i s h is your suffix joyful f u l is your suffix friendship s h i p is suffix calmness n e w s is your suffix okay so if we remove the suffix we can see that all the other words are root word or the base word okay now let's see one more example to make it more clear uh, we have suffixes meaning then uh, some base word and then we'll see how you get a new word okay so over here you can see suffix age which means a condition when you uh, no add suffix age to uh, any base word uh, we you know we give it a condition for example the word leak will be become leakage means it showing the you no know, a uh, situation that it's, it, uh, it is leakage and also it's showing the condition or in the situation then suffix a l l means an action it represent the action for example the word is remove so if we add the suffix we get the word new word removal hmm. removal means it's an action that we removed then we have suffix er which means one who performs the action for example read will become reader so one who is reading then ship shows the position okay help who uh, means authority you can say for example a partner who will become partnership partnership or you can say no leadership okay so it means it showing the position then we have able which means capable of being like present so it will become it will become presentable we be presentable then less which means without was fear it's very easy fear less means without any fear so you can see like this we you know change the word with another new word with you uh, know new meaning and the same so don't forget that we add suffix at the end of the word and each suffix has its own meaning so it's very important that you learn the meaning also then only you will be able to you know uh, add the suffix to the correct base word otherwise suppose if you are adding any suffix to any base word and it's not meaningful then your word will be wrong okay this exercise you have to choose the proper suffix to complete these sentences we have to complete the sentences and we can see before each word 
there is a blank okay so before that blank let's say there is a word which is incomplete so we have to fill that uh, we have to complete that blank too okay it means the base word is given we have to fill uh, we have to write the suffix to make the word uh, to make the new word and also uh, to complete the sentence but your suffix should relate to the sentence okay you cannot add any suffix according to sentence you have to fill the first one you can see the sunset we saw over the mountains was b e a u t i only beauty is written okay so to complete this word which suffix will use we we'll use suffix full f u l so this beauty become beautiful okay now second one super girl was fierce dash as she said that kitty okay they are saying super girl was was fear and dash so which suffix will you put over here fear like the uh, fear full is also a word fear less is also a word right so suffix less and full both have a different meaning right if you write over here fear full if you add a suffix full here the entire sentence you know will get wrong because super girl cannot be fear fearful right so we will here write fear less which means without fear and if you write fearful it means she was frightened right so how could she become a she would be a you know a, she would be a super girl so because sentence according to sentence you have to fill the uh, sub to the you have to fill the suffix don't forget this then we have granny and i like to watch the bird flying over the beach okay so only bird bird you cannot fly right so we only write s to make it birds hmm. and yes as is also suffix then we have bobby bad dash wanted to ride this bike bike so bobby badly and bike we add suffix l by to make it complete bobby badly wanted to ride his bike means he uh, wanted to ride his bike then the dog we saw looked like it might be home less okay so now you can see we have seen that uh, we have filled the suffix according to the sentence clear yeah? exercise to make suffix and prefix both clear okay here can see have been some root words okay and here we have to write the prefix and this side we write the suffix to the same root word to get a new word okay means this time we will add suffix and prefix means prefix and suffix both to the same root word okay to get a new word let's see the word is logic so if we add prefix will to the logic and then prefix at the end of the word l y then what we get we get a new word a law g p right a logic then second we have love if we add un at the beginning of the base word and l y at the end of the base word means prefix may we have that un and suffix we have that l y so what we we'll get we we'll get a new word un lucky okay then we have a word predict same if we add un predict then here able we we'll get a new word un predict able okay then last comes the fourth one is properly if we add in as a prefix and sorry to the word proper and y as a suffix 
will get a new word in properly. Right? Last word we have comfort. So, which prefix we add? Uh, I think uh, un and suffix ab. What we get? We get a new word uncomfortable. So, I hope this exercise made the topic more clear that how you can add both suffix and prefix to the same base word. So please keep on practice, refer your English language book, lots of words, lots of specific are given in it. Practice it well. Thank you.